Nagbabalik po ang One You Connect at ngayon Immigration 101. Ah, uh, wala kayong choice but to stick with us kasi <laughs> pa rin po Miss Asia Agkawili, Marites Allen, and of course Crystal Diaz. Okay, what do we have today? As if we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Valentine's Day is a very special day. So to all uh, lovers out there, it's not just for couples, but you know, for everyone celebrating love. But for Immigration 101, we will be talking about love and immigration. So I'd just like to ask Muna, itong sa mga guests natin, particularly Miss Marites, because Miss Marites is actually married to a British uh national and you said you've been together for 22 years but can you just give us a, a little bit of story you know how did it all uh begin for you guys for you and nick nicholas is name right can, yes. can i mention his name? <laughs> yeah nicholas yes. your friend yeah so <laughs> basically i think uh you know my my life story is out you know there i was an orphan my first marriage i had three small kids and then I activated Feng Shui, the Southwest again. I was slipping, making sure that my head is pointing to my love and marriage direction. So mm -hmm. the photo that you see there, Kirk, Kevin, Shannon, are actually only barely, I think Shannon was only six months old when I met my husband. And then uh, Nikki uh, is our fourth child. So therefore, in terms of how it started, um, I remember in 2000, this is like so long ago, 2010 so this is like 11 years ago that you know we we woke up one day and then my husband said you know when when you finish going around metro manila and everything and the whole philippines like you know what's next what's the future so we decided i think i remember it vividly in july 20 of 2010 my husband said uh let's go and move to england and he said what like what about my career what about my business you know i'm doing so well i have like six boutiques doing so well then and he said no because you know next month kirk is turning 18. so that was really the issue so we were rushing and i believe ours was a very unique and different case um crystal because um we have already been married for a while so it's very easy for us to just go to the embassy to the to the british embassy in manila we have submitted our applications and then uh i think we got our i think we got our settlement visa for like in the like 48 hours so we mm -hmm. all have our settlement visa we were allowed to bring uh two of our mates at the beginning and then i remember you just have to uh show support like you know a bank statement that you are not a burden to the government <laughs> so you have to have like the the you know the house ready in oxford but nick shannon and i had to come ahead to look for properties so mm -hmm. I, I look around you know westminster here in london we were in saint albans uh westminster i you know i check out cans and then you know it comes like wherever you want to put the kids in school you have to be within one kilometer radius so I kind of like Oxford, so because you know Oxford is very nice and homey and safe, mm -hmm. and so we settled for Oxford at that time. But I I think I would say it wasn't very difficult because we had been traveling back to the UK all the time, and mm -hmm. you know I have a spouse visa way back in the the early two thousand. Uh, so I I think in terms of moving and everything, it wasn't that difficult. I think for me, it's more on the adjustment. Like, you know, when we move in Oxford, uh, when we were looking a lot around here in London, the houses are so small. And, you know, I had to go through that, adapt, you know, adapt to the, the reality that mm -hmm. Asian homes are very different from here. Um, because remember, we brought our maids, so, so at least comfort zone is there. But I would say the emigration process really was a straightforward thing and then i believe uh in two years although i was sort of like exempted because you cannot leave the country for more than 90 days Mary, right uh mm -hmm. to get your citizenship yes mm -hmm. but for me because i managed to 
to show that my business was in the Philippines. Yeah. My kids yeah. were in Ox on Oxford. They have seen my West, my Facebook activity. They have seen my my website. So mm -hmm. even though I was away from the country for like, I don't know, 180 days in a year, mm -hmm. uh, on the second year, I got my citizenship. Yeah. Well done. And, yeah, but can, years can, I, can I ask the same question to Asia? Because Asia mm -hmm. is married to a Dutch and when she left the Philippines, she was at the top of her game. You know, Asia, you were uh, big in the showbiz. Yeah. Uh, nasa kasag, kumbaga, nasa kasagsaga ng kanyang career. And then uh, you went to the Netherlands. So what was it like for you? Kasi, syempre, for you to stay in the Netherlands, kailangan mo rin ng um, immigration advice, kailangan mo rin uh, asikasuhin ang visa mo. Yes, that's right. Um, it, I suppose it helped a lot that I, you know, when I left um, Netherlands, I was really on top of my game and there's like a record of that. And so it was easy for me to do that. However, my husband is saying that it's a lot harder on the back end because he was the one who was doing all the, the other side. And knowing him, you know, he doesn't, you know, yeah, he doesn't muck around. He has to, you know, get it. He has to have it. And yeah, he was saying, you know, it, it was really, really difficult. More especially because, you know, I, you know, I'm an artist. It's not like, you know, it's not like I'm a programmer or something like that. But uh, yeah, I suppose we're lucky enough to to get through it. And apparently, when I got that visa, and then what I have to to go through just so that I could stay there. I had to study the language, right? And and when I studied the language, I think it was level one was the requirement to study the language, and then, but I did up to level four, so that's pretty, you know, that's more than okay. So yeah, so in terms of because I I remember they were saying before that they got a lot of people. To Netherlands, however, some of these foreigners did not want to or did not speak the language because they didn't require them to speak the language. Therefore, for generation and generations, you know, these clumps of people they just stick around with each other because they understand the language and never bother to actually speak the language, which which pissed off a lot of the Dutch people, which is you know naturally so, right? I mean, you're in their country at least, kind of know not just. I'm sure you can speak your own language, but at least be bilingual or something like that. I mean, so do you speak? And, do you speak but, but I did that anyway. Do you speak Dutch? Yes. Oh, come on, show yes, off. I speak you Dutch. Speak yes. Dutch. <laughs> Dutch. <laughs> yeah, who had it met you, my Frau? Yeah, I've been new. I've been a Nederlander. I find it as the need. It's a bit too moilik. Um, Talmar, yeah, I can it tell. Can it well, in? in English, in yeah. English. <laughs> what is that? No, I said, I said yes. I speak Dutch. Uh, I, I, I am Dutch, and um, I do uh, speak the language. It's not, it's not such a very. Um, what was that? Sorry, it's, I there's a bit of it. feedback going on. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, it's not much. I said, you know, it's, it's. A, a little bit difficult language because it's not because for for us it's a difficult language to actually hear and mm -hmm. accept because we're very used to very suave language one would say because we mm -hmm. fresh, the Americans the Chinese it's a very sing song or like the very flowing kind of language mm -hmm. with Dutch and German it's a bit more like. <laughs> <laughs> so for oh, us, it's kind of hard because it's so hot, isn't it? Yeah, hot. Yeah, it's almost like you have a phlegm in your throat a lot, and you know. So when you express it, and it's uh, <laughs> quite something, I'd say, quite a learning experience, definitely. Okay, it's a real shock. Crystal, well, you know, just picking up on what um, Marites, uh, Miss Allen, had said at the time. Um, things were, I feel like, quite relaxed um, in, in the UK. But since 2012, they've changed the rules. So you can't just yeah. get supplement straight away. In fact, it, uh, when they changed it, it started off two years. Then you, then after 
uh, completing two years, then you can apply for settlement. But now things have changed. You have to complete five years in the UK before you can apply for settlement. But I think I, did, I do have a short video. Uh, yes. Is that okay to show now, Rose? Okay, this is the advice. Yeah. For all of you guys na magdadala po ng, mang, ng spouse, ng partner ninyo dito sa UK, here's um, very useful advice from our solicitor. I do get inquiries. Oops. Oops. Yeah. Where's Chad? It's frozen. <laughs> oh, no. What happened? Uh -oh. I, I was all made up and everything, you know. Yes, I was ready that. To yes. Place, but uh, I think that because it, it is a, uh, the it's Valentine's Day today, I was going to say that I, I do get inquiries from people wanting to bring over their partners, their fiance, their their spouses because of the pandemic. It's, it's quite difficult at the moment. But just bearing in mind what you need to to do. It's really one one uh, uh, thing that you have to show to the home office is your relationship. You have to be in a genuine relationship. If you're applying as a fiance, you have to have met physically met your partner. Um, but the when 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 proving relationship, you have to show loads of paperwork. For example, uh, telephone calls, um, remission slips. If you're like sending money. Um, any letters, uh, photographs, things like that. So you have to show relationship. Now, they have introduced in 2012 financial uh, requirements. So that would be, there's a financial threshold if you're working uh, of 18,600. So those, uh, anyone that are not working and not earning that money, it, it will be quite difficult to show unless you have other uh, forms of source of income. Now, accommodation, if, you, if you're renting a property or if you own it, you've got to show it's not overcrowded. So it's, it's quite important that uh, to show that there is a space for you and your partner. Um, you have to do English language tests. Just, just uh, uh, pointing out what Asia had said, you've got to do the, the language test, also A1 level in the UK. You've got to show that you're able to speak the, the language of the country. Um, and also... Philippines, you have to do tuberculosis test. Um, it, it's a it's a six month certificate, which means within the six month period, you've got to make your application. So at the moment, it, it, it you can make the application. You can you can lodge this uh, the application online. So it's done online now, and then you will uh, get your um, a biometric appointment. the The decision time will take about three months, but if you pay more money. It could it could be shorter than uh, a month. Now, when you can come here because of the tra travel ban and the restrictions, it all depends because of the lockdown. But that's the quick. I do get this inquiries a from sponsors. <laughs> there is that's that quick. I, I, on. I, I just say that I do get inquiries know. from sponsors wishing to bring over their partners to the UK. But what do you need to know about the sponsor? They have to be British or have settled status in the UK. That means they must have indefinite leave to remain. They must also be 18 years old and the same for the applicant. So when making the application, you have to meet a few requirements. First, the financial requirement. The financial maintenance, it has to be, for example, when the sponsor is working, he has to be earning at least 18,600. And the accommodation, they have to show there's, there's enough or sufficient space for both of them that is not overcrowded. Now, relationship, what about it? Well, you have to show that you are in a genuine relationship, that you are in regular contact with your partner, that you are in constant communication with each other. You have to make sure you have documents to prove this. You also need to show that you have passed the English language test and the tuberculosis test. When the application is made, you wait until a decision is made at the Home Office. When the visa is granted, you can then come to the UK and spend two and a half years. Before it expires, you then extend it for another two and a half years, completing five years stay in the UK. 
you have to make sure you have the intention to stay in the UK permanently. Now, once you have completed five years, you can then make an application for indefinite leave to remain. If your partner is British, you can make straight away an application for British citizenship. So that's it. If you want to spend the rest of your life in the UK, you just have to make sure you meet the immigration requirements. Thank you, Marian. Yes, yes. mga nanonood po, we will post this separately on uh, Facebook of One You Connect para mayroon po kayong guidance if you want to review it. Salamat, Chad. Ninervyo si Chad yeah. kasi gusto niya talaga magkaroon siya ng um, storage. So don't worry, Chad. You will America. get it. Yeah. 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 I'm shaking these boots because they are beautiful, too beautiful ladies in the house. Oh my God. Can I, yes. can I share? Can I also just share this to those who are? I think I remember now because, you know, I just sort of like recall me because it's been so long. I remember in our part because it's really very unique. Unique in a way that remember that my three kids were from my first mm -hmm. marriage. But then yeah. they were like, you know, Nicholas had adapted them you know, like way back then. So number one rules, mga kaibigan, is you have to have a very good lawyer. I remember that we have a very good London lawyer who had to go through this very, um, I think because, you know, if you're, if you're bringing in dependents uh, anywhere else in the world, you can actually bring them, but except the UK. Because the UK, you have to go through like, you know, so so my lawyers then, our lawyers then had to parang uh, write a very, very good like prayer and support. Like, you know, they have to check with the Geneva Convention that, you know, this kids has been with us, you know, together with Nicholas and myself. And then we have to, I remember we have to put this set, I think about as uh, amount of money. Uh, I remember it's like 50,000 pounds that you have to put in a bank. We cannot touch it. And we can, we have to make sure that the, you know, the house that we are getting from Oxford is all taken care of for the rest of the year. That's why, you know, immediately um, you have to prepare all these documentations first. This is what uh, Crystal was saying, you know, all the photos, the communications, banking statements, you know, properties, whatever, to prove that you had been together uh even the school records of the kids i mean luckily they all went to a british uh school curriculum so it was very easy for them to move uh but i think rule number one is prepare all your documents properly mm -hmm. and then once you lodge it and apply it's just like really smooth so you cannot like go back and forth so we did yeah. a lot of research and number one rules mga kaibigan get a very good lawyer so our lawyer because like what i said maganda yan mare all the countries on earth does not accept our scenarios because yeah, the kids were were so little little then and they were like you know nicholas although they mm -hmm. were in school up uh, gate school palang they're already using the last name allen but my mm -hmm. lawyer our lawyers then had to fight and get like the geneva convention all these rules and everything because it's so unique pala. the uk is very unique, unique. so yeah, yeah so if you ask me it wasn't sort of a hurdle it was really more on parang going through the 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 rules tapos mm -hmm. 2010 was the last year where the government allowed for us kasi parang my husband is a returning resident diba so whatever comforts you are using in your country we were allowed to bring in the nannies then so that's mm -hmm. how far i remember and you so forgot you have to have and you have to have smart friends remember i was the one even if i'm not a solicitor i was the one who advised you on how to lodge that citizenship application without submitting your original documents but that's for another segment and you were telling oh you know, i wouldn't know that one <laughs> that's, but that's for the uk now i posted on my facebook sabi ko, we have something in common because we're all married coming up at po we're all married to foreigners non-filipinos so we all had to well not, except for crystal because um she's always lived in this country um so me i moved to the uk asia moved to the netherlands now in new zealand uh marites also so we had to go through that immigration process mm -hmm. um it's it's straightforward if you have all if you have set aside or na, na compile po ninyo lahat ng mga documents ninyo to prove about you know your relationship 
Yeah. Yes, that's true yes. because once you get there, dapat yung wag ka masyadong aang-anga na para, oh, ganito yun. Ikaw na, you know, yeah. it's your ball. You go, oh, this is my papers, this is my thing, yeah. this Take is my more. thing. Hmm. Yeah, yeah you, you, you gotta look smart, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. For, for us talaga, it was straightforward because we gave them more. I mean, I think like what I yes, said. Yes, that's very right. Good. Get a good lawyer. And I was, mm. we were amazed. Two days lang. Uh, the, we had it from the British British Embassy. And of course, mm. you have to, even here, Mara, remember, they, you have to go through all this, like, I remember they even have to say, check on Google Earth, where are you residing? Is this really your residence? Blah, 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 blah. I mean, and I think it's really like about the honesty as well. So do not ever try to forge any documents. <laughs> Make sure it's a legit document. Yes. yes. Otherwise, baka karong ka talaga ng problema. Yeah. Oh, yes. Can I just read some sure. of the comments of our viewers? Mm -hmm. Sa nanonood po ngayon, sure. uh, uh, Jean Alcantara is watching. Of course, salamat Jean. Jean. Uh, Co-presenter, kasama natin sa One You Connect. Dan Revelo. Oh my God, ito yung favorite ko na comment ni Dan Revelo. Um, what did he say here? Uh, they are more than stars. They are the concept. You are the star of the show. Hi, Dan. No, I, 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 that's you are the brightest. This is what I meant. One you connect. Uh, kudos one you connect for the congregation of beautiful women on Valentine's Day. Salamat, Dan. Wow. Uh, girl power. Girl power. Girl yeah. power. <laughs> Um, our usual supporter, okay. Nelly Karen Fami, and also the yeah. is stay blessed and beautiful guys. Happy Valentine's. Also from uh, my FWA um, uh, ladies, um, Doc Kwemi, she's always watching, and Tita Dulia, the chair, and I just saw them earlier on. So thank you very much for your Happy support. Valentine's po sa inyong dalawa. I'd also like to greet my mom. Happy Valentine's Day. And my former Happy teacher Valentine's. in high school who may, uh, who accompanied my mom on Valentine's Day. Uh, mm -hmm. Para hindi siya malungkot. Happy Valentine's. And of course, the mom of our associate producer, Jay Montelibano, si yeah. Mommy Linda Montelibano. Happy Valentine's Day po. Thank you for and your... And my mom. And That's your mommy so also. Yes. My yes. Mommy yes. Yes. Celebrate. And my mommy. Happy Mother's Day, Mommy. Happy, happy Valentine's Day. Okay. <laughs> happy, happy Valentine's Day. The finale question, what are we going to do in this COVID Valentine? How is everyone going to celebrate in a COVID? I know. Diba? Stay at home lang. Stay at home. Stay I just home. decided to put these flowers from my husband <laughs> in the background. Uh, and Crystal also. <laughs> oh, this is <laughs> Very test. And she when are we going to meet up? Right? That's the next question. Sorry? You know, we'll, how are we going to meet up? Because the, we only met like once. Virtually. Okay. No, if you're in London, please come. Visit me here in London. Yes. I got so, this beautiful house because I thought I'm going to have a party with you guys. But and then it's not down. Here. <laughs> here. Uh -oh. Okay. Uh, so we have we have a couple of people na makakatanggap po nung... Uh, storage from Asia at Kawili. And of course, syempre, dapat mabigyan din natin si Mr. Dan Rivello kasi ang dami niyang comments. Kahit, kahit siguro uh, buong show, magko-comment si Dan. So Dan, you will have one. You have, uh, I will private uh, message you mm -hmm. para sa mga address po ng mga bibigyan natin ng uh, little bit of uh, souvenir and gift from Asia at Kawili. What, did Asia just disappear? Na-disconnect na ba si Asia? It's very, very late. I, there, you know? I know. So we have to wrap up po. We have to end the show now. Sorry kasi um, nagaantay pa yung asawa namin kahit nandito lang sa bahay. We have to have a little bit of date also. Disconnected si Miss Asia. Oh, so sad di tayo. Hindi natin siya nahinga ng parting message. But um, to, to end our episode, this Valentine's Day episode, maybe we'll start with Marites on tips na lang for um a long kasi siya yung may pinaka mahabang marriage eh yes. what is the uh, okay game yes. what's your what secret think, yes for everybody to have a sort of like you know like a, a good marriage in a way uh, no matter how much distance you are uh, from each other my husband actually when we get married uh, he imposed a rule we can never be apart for more than 14 days okay so 
however or wherever we are in the world and he really kept that promise uh, number two is trust you have to trust each other so i think for me uh, like what i said it's very different because having a relationship uh you know for the second time is really very important and trust is is really a key for every relationship and i would say it's really like the give and take um but i think i would say a filipina being married to a brit um Siyempre, sometimes mataray din ako eh. Maldita ako, Mari, eh. <laughs> so, I'm so, I'm so maarte. I'm so maldita. I would, I am so parang happy because my husband would, is the one who would bring me tea in the morning. Uh, I used to drink tea then, but not now. But then, he would make sure, that, because now I, I drink like water and lemon in the morning for 10 years. So, he's the one, parang it's become like a habit. And then in return, in exchange, I also make sure that, you know, you have to know uh, how to look after them. Sabi ko sa kanya, wag mo lang ako paplansyahin. Ayoko magplansya, ayoko maglaba. <laughs> you know? Gusto ko lang mag -ano, magluto, I can cook. Um, and I said, I, I would really say is really trust. Trust with your partner is very important. And of course, you should have enough love making or have sex. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just making oh, fun. I'm just making fun. I'm excited. So, you know, the disconnect is because she will give some really good tips, you know? Yeah, you know, yeah for but uh, well taken. I should have been on this segment today as well, Rose. Come uh, on. Well, well, well noted yung mga advice ni Miss Allen. Ang ating yes. kumarev. Yes. General <laughs> love. You know, love. Oh, yeah. love. General Crystal. Love. Yes. Crystal, what about you? What about me? Yes. <laughs> Tip. <laughs> oh, well, um, we always say I love you all the time in the morning in the evening so it's kind of like just saying it out loud makes a difference you know mm -hmm. so yeah we, we've been together for for a long long time so today is this is it's another day but it's special because it's valentine's day so yeah yes, yes. Um, but can i just mention we have raquel scrivens who's watching on youtube so she's another after the day <laughs> so she will get also the mega storage yes. because you're yeah. the only one there watching on YouTube. Everybody else is here on Facebook. So maraming salamat po sa inyo. Advice, I, don't know, advice. I have advice. I don't think it will work for ever because I think magkakaiba yung relationships and yung mga asawa natin. Ako, I'm, I'm demand. I demand. So I'm very demanding. Uh, mas malaki yung sinakripisyo ko sa pagtira dito sa UK. I have all my family in the Philippines. So, I tell my husband, he has to treat me really well. Kasi, kung hindi, um, hindi kami magkakasundo. But, having said that, kailangan din ipakita mo na you also do your part. Like, I, I do my active service also to my husband, how, however little it is. So, yeah. but, Asia, we're just waiting for you and we're doing bye. Um, or what is your advice for a lasting relationship or marriage or a happy relationship? Well, for a happy relationship, I think, um, oh, to be honest with you, you know, I've, well, I've been together with my husband and that's that's quite a long time for me, you know, it's it's the longest lasting relationship I've had. And for me, it's about having patience with each other. So um, there would be times where, you clash and when that happens you can always just walk away and do certain things and then eventually you know just find your find your yourselves in this common ground that you don't want to get things at, to, to get escalated or, or things like that and just be honest as well with with what you feel and what you think and uh, sometimes when you're angry it's best not to not to fuel it a little bit more so there you go. That's my advice. <laughs> and have some time for yourselves. Yes. Yes. For us in separately or together? No, together. You know, kahit oh. na full thing lang, like, okay, you know, you just walk in the park or something like that. It doesn't have to be extravagant, you know, just simple things like when you want to clean the bathroom together or, you know, these simple things. <laughs> 
you know it matters a lot it's just about being there being present and sharing things together very important Okay. Having time with each other, that's the most impor important thing because we all we all change. We learn from each other. So we also have to grow together rather than grow apart. Right? Yes. And I so, think, as well, if I may add lang quickly, is that it's also very important for a woman. I think for me, it's also like maturity. When you are sort of mature enough in a relationship, uh, you know, everything else follows, you know, understanding. And it takes years. It takes years. And personally, uh it's very important as well because you know we are all professional women you know it's not like uh like, like what i said like you know even rose or even me i said you know i'm very established in manila i have my business i met my husband when i you know i already have a business you know i have over a hundred people at that time so i think it's very important for them for the partners to see that being a very independent person uh you know and having that respect with with what we love doing most is also be given to us rather than hey you know you're with me then you stop doing it so you have to express that at the beginning of the relationship these are my terms take it or leave it <laughs> Wait, bago tayo mag ano bago tayo mag end eto may isang challenge dito kasi you know um madaling araw na dyan sa New Zealand and we don't know oh. kung kaya nagbabalik sa si Asia dito kabisado pa ba ni Miss Asia yung step ng ang bango bango ng bulakla <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> I remember that. Okay, give us a few. Okay. okay. Ang bango. Ang bango. Ang bango. Ang bango. Ang bango. Okay, great. Thank you. Great. Thank you. So you're always, you're always game. Alam mo yan. Uh, nakaka- Nakakahawa yung positive energy. She's warm. She's always she's funny. Happy. Yes. And Nakaka beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. Thank you. That's Thank just you. for you, Chad, by the way. Yes, there you go. There you go. Ayan yung mga uh, Viva Hot Babe. Ayan, Chad. MG. Alam nyo walang sumagot kung sino yung favorite Viva Hot Babe nila. So, Dan Rivello, you have to you have to put it in. Although meron ka ng ano, meron ka ng prize. Ayan oh. Great advice from Joyce. Uh, be positive from uh, uh, Carmen Hickey. And um, yun, sa lahat po nang nanonood sa inyo, thank you for watching. Yeah. Salamat po sa lahat. I enjoyed watching this series today. Yes, because it's just light at may meron tayong very sexy guest from New Zealand. Um <laughs> Gigi Venus, Maui Te... Naku, Gigi! Bakit mo... Maui Te... It's so obvious it's Asia and Kawili. Come on! We're not gonna give it to you! This is my friend, Gigi. No, 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 no. Nang, uh, she's just teasing. <laughs> anyway, I also like Maui Taylor, but I like Asia the best, of course. Oh, okay. Well, maraming... Salamat po sa lahat ng nanood, sa lahat ng nag-participate ng One You Connect. Abangan po ninyo ang DocuSeries 6. Balik tayo sa seryoso naman. COVID-19 pa rin yun, Ang karanasan ng ating mga kababayang frontliner uh, sa paglaban at pakikibaka sa COVID-19. Maraming salamat po sa pagsuporta ninyo sa One You Connect for the last six months of our project. Hindi po dito natat natatapos ito. Bantayan po ninyo at the end of the month, we have the DocuSeries Six. Maraming salamat. Happy Valentine's Day. I am Rose Clarinal. And I'm Crystal Dias. Hanggang sa muli sa One You Connect. Bye! Bye. Happy Valentine's! Bye. Bye. Happy Valentine's. <laughs>